Okay, guys, so this is Model Magic. Now, Model Magic comes individually wrapped in these packages, and you do not want to open it until you're ready to use it. It, it is an air drying clay, so the longer it sits in the air, the harder it's going to get until it can't be used anymore. So, really, you want to use this in one day. Okay, now. They're each in one ounce packages. You guys have four packages each. Um, it's up to you how much you want to use for the ornament project. Um, what you're going to need first is you're going to need an idea. So I'm going to do a very simple golf ball ornament. Okay. And you can do something more complex. You can do something more simple. It's really up to you. Um, what you can do because you have four of these is maybe try for something a little bit harder at first. If that doesn't work out, then pivot back into something a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use half of this to make my project. Now with the ornaments, you're going to be making two identical ornaments. Okay. So if you're doing it, the nice thing about small quantities like this is you can half it. Or if you want to use more, um, you can use two packs, one for each project, but part of your grade is going to be on how similar they are to each other. So for here, we're going to start off with very easy spheres, just like this. Okay. Now this is a very simple one. So if you choose to do something as simple as this, I'm going to be looking at every little detail. If it's, you know, not perfectly even like this, that's going to count against it. So the more simple something is does not necessarily mean the easier it is. Um, it's really up to you how you decide to challenge yourself. Now, as far as tools, the same thing applies with anything you're using at home. You can use anything. Um, you can use something as simple as a pencil. So I need to make all those divots in the golf ball. I can do this and slowly work my way around creating those divots. Now, if you look, those look a little too small. So that might not be good for it. Nice thing is I did roll it right back out and then I start with something else. Let's try this. Okay, if I go with something like that, it's going to not have a golf ball divot, so we got to get rid of that. And a lot of this is going to be experimentation and just trying to figure things out. Okay, so you need to find the right tool for the right thing. It might mean taking this pencil and flattening this out so that way they're a little bit bigger. And then I can use that over the whole thing. Now I'm not going to sit here and dimple out the entire ball for you, but you get the idea of how you can use tools. Okay. With this, you can use tools like a paper clip. Okay. You can bend it out and shape it into different things. Okay. A good thing that you can use paper clips for is I've seen people do where take this and Sculpey is kind of like a marshmallow. Okay. So we'll take it. And what I'm going to see if you can guess what I'm turning it into. And it's kind of a weird texture at first, but you'll get more used to it as you start playing with it. Okay. You see, because of, I was using a pencil, it pulls up some of the graphite. That's perfectly fine.
but I can use this and start to build out whatever character trait I want. If I wanted to have ears, okay, I can sculpt it in my hand. If I need them sharper, I can use a tool like this. Put it out here so you can see uh, what I'm doing. Okay, and I just press. Like that. And cut that section off. And I might need to shape it down a little bit. Okay. And I put it on. And again, you use whatever tools you have around your house and get creative to put on the ear. Now, part of this is going to be the little details. So, if I want to add kind of like a scale texture, what I could do is I could bend one of these in. I then go through adding on the scaled texture throughout the entire thing. And these things are going to what make it come to life. Okay? Start to add details. Rework this mouth a little bit. Maybe we want the bottom part of the mouth to come out a little bit further and wrap up in. Or work, rework that eye a little bit. Maybe make it a little bit more angled. And so you work with this, designing whatever textures, whatever shapes you want, until you're done and you're going to match it with your second piece. So that way you have two identical ornaments. After this project, you're gonna keep one, I'm gonna keep the other, okay? So whatever you turn them into, um, try to make it something that you want me to remember you by, okay? If you guys have any questions, as per always, send me an email. Uh, I will help you as much as physically possible. And when you're done with it, you'll submit pictures, but in the process submit pictures as well so that way i know how to help you out what you need help with and all that stuff all right keep on being awesome guys